Friday and I'm home but I'm at the garage. Would you like a look at my face? It's not affecting my vision and I've had to come out with my car because um, someone kindly reversed into it or something while I was packed up last Sunday when I went to the Asda so I've just had to go get my light replaced on the back it was working but the um, lens was cracked but you have to buy a whole new light and then because my car isn't your standard bog thing I mean I took it to a garage and he quoted me like between 20 and 40 on the phone to replace it all well and good because I had to get the light from Ford because nowhere had it and um, I went down to see him and he started doing it he went oh the hydraulics for your boot is wired into the light and I thought oh goodness no no and he was like oh because we've got a bit of a problem and I thought oh goodness what we're we gonna do now sort of thing and um, he said well I can do it it's just an extra job to do it and and I sat in the car and he did it he's actually a mobile mechanic but he couldn't have got out to me today it's the first time I've been to him but I will go to him again he was great uh, he was great for me it's NG mechanics or autos and they're based in Wakefield if anyone knows Wakefield and I know a few of you do it's down near you know the back of Sainsbury's anyway like I say he's a mobile mechanic he was telling me and he's more than happy to come out he just wouldn't have been able to do it today so he rents a space in a garage good idea a bit like barbers renting chairs I suppose so he did it and it cost me £40 so I thought well I did well there to say he had to do the extra thing and it took him a while so now I've just come round to Sainsbury's um, I actually did an online thing with the doctor yesterday I sent the doctors a message attached an image of how my face looked and about an hour later the doctor called me so was antibiotics came at lunchtime today although he was you know I mean I was away from home it's been a long time coming and going to see Deacon Blue but if I'd have been at home he wanted me to um, get something to go to the late night pharmacy because everywhere was shutting and get them but um, anyway sent them to mine and mine deliver and they're really good so and then my pharmacy rang me and says Joanne do you need them urgently and I was like no it'll be fine in the morning so last night this morning I took antihistamine um I didn't check because it's not going to do anything to me um and some ibuprofen for the inflammation took some of Angie she had some with her I will say this, we've had about three hours sleep because the premier inn we stayed at was not good. The accessible room, I mean, I didn't get to show you around it, but it wasn't very big and it was, the bed was so low, which they are, but normally they can put bed raisers on, but they made some excuse about oh well we're waiting for the bed raisers coming for the new bed so we don't have any um and there was no way i was going to struggle with my hip so we ended up going next door the only problem was the bathroom wasn't really accessible for me i mean i could get in at a push it's lucky i don't need the loo and then this morning so we got home it was a bit of make do and mend brushing my teeth and I used baby wipes to get a wash 
but I've been home got cleaned rung the garage like I say with them saying they could do it this afternoon I was like yes please do it so I had to come out and while I was down here I yeah, thought I'll come round to next and see what there is so that's what we're going to do but I'm going to let Premier in now about the debacle the staff just weren't you know I mean I suppose they did the best but it wouldn't have taken much to ring another Premier in and see if some bed raisers because they were the old beds but yeah the non-accessible room had a high bed it was very high but it's fine I can raise my chair up so I don't know what was going on there but I do know this we were our room the tram lines in Nottingham went past it and they were going really late and started up really early this morning we were right opposite the uni um the student union bit and it's uh freshers week so it's absolutely balmy but deacon blue made up for it i'm just very tired today and obviously this is annoying me um, and my other eye started the doctor did question whether it was shingles and I was like shingles and he says yeah because yesterday it was going more down one side of my body and um, he was saying that shingles yeah you can get them on your face and it was just the fact that he's prescribed me antibiotics but if it had been shingles or if I noticed little blisters or anything coming up that would suggest it was a shingles rash um, I need antivirals and especially with my immune system being low so yeah one thing after another but I have to say the train was really good um, Nottingham get a big thumbs up for how they are with the accessibility thing I mean we went in this morning we went through you know the like turnstile gate thing to get to the platform and they've got a whole accessibility lounge you know with just like a couple of staff and she said oh if you just go over there he'll let you down in the lift and i'm like yeah thank you and then he actually come out and he says could i have your name i give him my name he looked on the list he went oh you're going to wakefield that's platform so and so and he actually saw us right to the train and he said it's northern rail so i'm not sure how they do the ramp but um, I'll go tell the guard you're here. And he did. We got on the train. Somebody had dumped the lug luggage, of course, in the disabled bit because there's loads of room. So when the guard was putting the ramp down, he said, I'm just getting him to move the luggage. Anyway, they had moved the luggage, but they were still sitting in the seat, which was for Angie. You know, like... Uh, there was a wheelchair space and a couple of seats opposite where you park so I did say to them about moving and she was like oh you want to sit here and I said my companion does yes I thought we're going all the way back to Wakefield we're on this train for an hour and 40 minutes I mean when we came from Wakefield down to Nottingham there was quite a few buggies parked there so I thought no we're not playing this game this morning so disgruntled lady and man got up but there was a couple of pull down seats beside where they dumped the luggage but they went off and sat somewhere else but 
It's only right. I mean, you book the assistance, you let them know you're coming. So why shouldn't you have your seat? Anyway, ran over and saw face. So quit looking next and then I've got to pick up a laundry basket in Sainsbury's. Do that while I'm out. Don't fancy doing it tomorrow. But it's Argos in Sainsbury's at Trinity. And we need a couple of bits for home. And then guess what? I'm going home. Well, I'm in the next outlet because I've nicked him while I'm down here, so I will give you a look around. everyone so yeah i'm home i haven't took my coat off yet but you can see i'm home because you can see my design feature anyway my next 
shopping and whatever else I got will have to wait till tomorrow I'm afraid so it's a bit of a talky vlog today and as you know I can't post the gig we went to because of copyright but I might be able to show you some of the video and mute the music out but I'm gonna have to uh, I've just took an antibiotic I have to get sorted out and get in bed. So my lovelies, for today it is going to be bye for now. Oh and yeah I've had a positive care appointment over the phone this morning. Um, so I'll update you about that too. Oh, I will show you one of the things I got. So, I treated myself in next to a little Island Spa fragrance diffuser. I haven't had this one before, but I thought I'd try a little bottle. Five pounds. Treat myself. Why not? Um, yeah, but I, uh, yeah, I did get the kids clothes just because I saw them and I liked them and well, why not? And I'm just going to have to watch because I don't know if that's another thing coming up on my head. Or some more blisters. Anyway, I'll just have to watch out for that, I think. And in the meantime, I'm going to unpack my bag tomorrow and put it all away and maybe see how I feel. Um, I'm not sure I've got all the ingredients, but if I have, I might have a go at making a focaccia. And then I need your foodie. Because it does all sorts. So really, I should try and make it do all sorts, shouldn't I? Wow, and Casey's cooking some for, something for us to eat, so yeah, I'm not having to do that. But I have noticed my eye is really, really like bothering me now. Itchy bothering me, so I will go, as I said. So, till tomorrow's vlog. My lovely people, take care wherever you are, have a lovely day. At least I didn't wake up with like slits for eyes this morning. It's a good one. And hopefully I won't tomorrow, but if I do, no doubt I will show you good, bad and ugly. Because it's pretty ugly at the moment, isn't it? Make sure it's not going. Uh, I'm just checking. Yeah, I don't know. I think the side of my face there is swollen as well. Feel that? Feel that? I'm all right doing this around on my vlog. Anyway, look, I'm going. So, my lovely people, take care. See you on tomorrow's vlog. Hopefully all being well. Till then my lovelies. Bye for now. Bye bye.